Good day, Libra viewers. I am Sarah V, and you're tuning in to Just Be Tarot. Thank you for your awesome energy. Thank you for hanging out with me, and thank you for clicking on like and subscribing to my channel, and also hitting that notification bell. That will let you know when I'm going live or posting new videos. Um, today, I am shuffling for the overall energy for the Libra Collective for August 2024. This is a general reading, not personal, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. So, Spirit, what does the Libra Collective need to know for their greatest good for August 2024? Thank you. What else does Libra need to know for their greatest good? What else do they need to know, Spirit? Oh, goodness. So Libra, I have got that, this is an energy of, of transformation here, of, of change, of trying to grow. I feel like you feel like a path. is like <laughs> like a side road is like here's your path and I feel like you are or were on this side road and you're trying to maybe take some which you thought were shortcuts to come back onto your path but you feel like it's taking longer than you anticipated <clears throat> I feel like you were kind of led there by, I'm hearing shiny things. Like maybe you saw, you were kind of like made a lot of promises. Now this could be like a job offering or this could be um, a romantic relationship but I feel like you got persuaded to take this side road because you thought there was going to be a lot of potential you felt like you were being offered a lot of things when you started to veer there was a lot of like I said, bright and shiny things that you're interested in. But as that went off, you felt like it turned into this. This was not for me. There, it turns out that there was a lot of conflict in your mind. Maybe not conflict like in the relationship or in the job. But you started to question like, is this really where I'm supposed to be? Is this where I'm supposed to be in life? Is this how I want to do my life? You know, it doesn't mean that something went wrong or there was any kind of negative situation. I'm seeing it was just a transformation, like somebody leveled up. Somebody maybe grew spiritually and started to see that maybe where they were is not where they saw themselves being on the level that they were at. Now this could be you, this could be your person, this could be somebody in your energy, but I do see that this is going to bring you to where you're supposed to be. Now it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship like this indicates. This could be you bring, being brought into a space where you feel like everything is going for with like going how you want it to everything is is whoever is in your space is you feel safe with you don't get that feeling of chaos and conflict this is could be a workspace like I said 
This could be schools. Maybe you transferred schools because you just weren't comfortable at a certain in a certain environment and you just transferred schools. And this is your indication, like this is where you're supposed to be now. Or maybe you moved to a different state or maybe you took a different job over the summer and moved your whole family. Maybe you, um, it could be a romantic relationship. And if you're already in a relationship, maybe it's somebody who you were going through a rough time. And there was a lot of conflict and chaos there. But there are changes that you felt. Changes that needed to be addressed. I just heard resurrected. Maybe you've been push pushing down this feeling for a long time. And you just brought it up to the surface like this is not how I picture things this is not how I want to proceed with my life I have different ideas different ideals and it just could be because you are growing faster than the people around you and you need a change all right so let's see what uh, tarot has for our Libra Collective. Spirit, what does the Libra Collective need to know for August 2024 and their greatest good? What do they need to know for August? Whoop, there it is one. <laughs> what does the Libra Collective need to know? Go fetch that card. Thank you. Um, so it looks like you've been waiting around for way too long for something to change or for a change to be made. So you decided to make changes yourself. You know, in the upright, this is a card about excuse me, about change coming suddenly. In the reverse, I get that you are the, sorry if you, there's out, you can hear that outside. <laughs> it's a nice day out, so a lot of people are outside. Um, if you, the, it's you making the change. If you, it's you being the, the presenter of these these changes that are going to be taken part in your life and you're very serious about making these change and i feel like you are a person who are very blunt and honest and open and when people come to you, you're going to be that way with them. I feel like you have to be, there might be a reason why you have to be cold towards somebody. I'm also getting like you're cutting somebody off or that this isn't gender specific, but I'm feeling like the queen of swords has like a bitchy vibe to it. So while you are just trying to be honest and blunt, you might come across as, as being a jerk or, um, so I'm, I'm hearing you might want to watch your tone if that's not your intention, but I'm also hearing that maybe that's the only way that somebody is going to understand or be able to comprehend that you want to end things or back off, or um, maybe it's like you have to use a tone or they're not going to understand that this is real.
Spirit, what else do we have for the Gemini or the oh, Libra Collective? Maybe you are connecting with a Gemini or that is who you're trying to disconnect with. If something is not making you happy. I almost get this sadness. Yep. There's a sadness here. There could be a king of, of like a masculine energy that is, is sad or is cutting you off or is, is trying to change his own or their own change their path The Magician in Reverse. I'm going to clarify this Magician in Reverse. Spirit, what do you mean by the Magician in Reverse for this Libra reading? I My initial energy was that they, the coping skills... Like, although that they, they know this change is good, they're also very sad about it. So it's like, I feel like it's a coping skills kind of, oh, a lot of cards are coming out to clarify this. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like this Divine Masculine has a lot of things going on in their head. There's just a lot of things that they're going through. But this is an ending of some kind. Can you see that? They're looking for clarification in themselves, I think. They're trusting their instincts at this time. They're just trying to sort through their own brain. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I feel like this is, yeah, Six of Pentacles in reverse. I, I just have a really big feeling that this is Four of Cups. Yeah, they are searching in their own brain, trying to figure things out. And although they're coming to you or maybe just like not themselves or, I mean, their cup is, is empty. Their, their cup is empty. And it's like they don't have enough to give to the situation and they're up in their head about it there's a lot going on in their heads regarding this and i'm seeing that they don't have the coping skills to deal with it they're trying to connect but they're going on a path that they're trying to see what else is on their path. They're working through stuff for themselves. In the chariot card, I see these two. On this card, it's, it's horses. 
But this means you have to work on your shadow self and your light self to get this chariot moving. So I feel like there's some healing that this person needs. They're going through a lot in their head. And they need to connect with their higher power to sort all this, these things out. That It's just them and their higher power that needs to, to sort out this situation. Oh, that's it? Okay. I was heard to move on to the concluding. So it just... That wasn't very clear. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but it just looks like there might be... It looks like there's another rose somebody wants to take. Somebody's leveling up and there needs to be changes made. Um, this could be you, like I said. Um, just working on your your light side and your dark side, making changes for the better. Um, transformation is the first thing I said. I feel like you've been sidetracked and you need something to draw you back onto the path that you're meant to be on. Okay, so we have the number five here. Four. Five, there we are. Okay, potential and possibility. Future, highest self, and quantum. The world. The quantum traveler. You are a point where it's possible to lean into a higher reality. There are infinite potentials and parallel realities all happening at once. Which one are you living? Which one are you creating? What are, what are you attracting? Break the cycle of mundane repetition and settling into dissatisfaction. So don't settle. Like if you don't feel like you, this is your path, so many people settle, then don't settle. Is there something you're feeling drawn to? Is there someone you admire who you'd like to emulate? Those feelings are pointing you to wherever your higher, highest reality is. Even if you feel jealous of someone or something, this shows you what your true potential could be. Pay attention and don't judge the feeling as negative. It's your guide. You are capable of tuning into the quantum realm and manifesting the best case scenario. The world is at your feet. Destiny is in the palm of your hand and you are a co-creator with the universe regardless of what is happening in the world and as chaotic as it may seem. You are a powerful extension of divine consciousness here to play, evolve, and enjoy life. Your mission is no different in the spiritual realm. Your soul has been evolving. So to you or the lives you have been living, attune your energy like an antenna to the channel of your desired reality. Your soul has brought you here to live once of your fullest life, one of your fullest lives ever. So... And this is about the change. This is about the possibilities that are out there for you. And don't just settle into something because it's what you know. Thank you, Spirit. Um, there's, a, you know, a lot out there. And a lot that, you know, the universe has to offer you. Reach out to the potential. Thank you for joining me, Libra. It is so appreciated. And uh, thank you for clicking on like, subscribing to my channel, and clicking that notification bell. That will let you know when I am going live or posting new videos. And I have been trying to go live a couple times a week. Um, so I hope you catch them um, and uh, subscribe because that really, and, and interact, there's like a chat 
thing there. So it, I mean, it does help me connect with your energies and I really do enjoy uh, talking to you guys. So I hope that um, I'll catch you there. And if not, I'll talk to you next time. Bye Libra.